Pogba and the Rafaela, I think they could play really well against uh, Team Rockstar. I see. So this will all depend on the Bruno. But if this Bruno pick fails, um, I think nine o'clock will get this. They just have they have a lot of sustain. Alice, um, even um, Roger is quite tanky for a jungler. So for me, I'll go for nine o'clock here in terms of the draft. Even, even though I don't like the high lows, a uh, high lows pick personally. Hopefully they could execute it and pull it off. So TRS, uh, let's see here. Um, we might expect a game number three, but the game has started. The Litho will be going in favor of um, Rock Stars here. Already starting it, and not, um, wait, am I am I tripping right now? Nine o'clock is on the left side, correct? And then Rock Stars should be on the right side. Okay, so also that overlay should, is going to be changed on the next match. Um, so Team Rock Stars on the right side. So actually, um, nine o'clock ended up getting that Litho uh, in their favor. And here we go, who's gonna get this Golden Crab? It was actually Hayabusa who got the Golden Crab. And Alice, uh, very surprising, Alice is playing really aggressive against a Hayabusa pre-level four. That's not something you wanna do. And exactly just like that, making a big mistake when you're an Alice, guys, you don't wanna go for a 1v1 duel right away against a Hayabusa. That is just, th that's not supposed to happen. Although last game though, last game, Alice ended up solo killing Hayabusa, which is not supposed to happen, as you can see. If you do that to a good Hayabusa player, oh, nice stun from Selena, but nice heal from uh, from Rafaela, making sure that this Popol is um, still full health. Let's see if Hylos can put some pressure in the front line here. Bruno is, man, I don't even know if he's level four. He is level four. I can see clearly now. Here we go. Bruno doing some burst on this Hylos. Will it be enough though? Farce is gonna go for an Ether uh, Feather Airstrike. And who's gonna go for a positive trade here? And uh, it looks like it's gonna be a one for one trade. Selena for a uh, who was who died earlier. It's a two for one trade, and Hayabusa still has the ulti here, rotated from top lane all the way to the turtle. All right, just to help on the team fights. All right, we've been seeing this from nine o'clock. This has been the main difference b between Rockstars and nine o'clock. Their side lane is actually rotating to help team fights, while Rockstars, their side laners, he usually stays in lane and just push all right we saw this from last game as well with the alice so i think they're making the same mistake again alice needs to farm and he's in big trouble here no mana but he's gonna be saved right there um luckily by the selena and the hylos and look at the hayabusa it's only what is it, is it three minutes in jesus christ uh, I, I, I'm blind, all right? Uh, I mean, the, the bearing thing is really blurry. Um, but yeah, Hayabusa already has the Hephthysis very, very, very early into the game. So he, he's quite fed. Uh, but 9 o'clock here, though, or, or Team Rockstars actually has a lot of vision here. Selena gets a pickoff there on the Rafaela. This might be the best time for them to take the turtle here. Uh, and here we go. This should be a free turtle for Team Rockstars. And nice zoning from Alice, by the way. But can they get a kill there? They do end up getting the kill on Harith. And this might be the game changer right there. Um, also, the Bruno also died there. So that's going to be a big problem for Team 9 o'clock. And here we go. Finally getting the first objective of the game. Well, technically the second. The first objective was the Turtle. Team Rock Stars getting the first tower of the game. And they're going to be ahead of gold by just a little bit right there. But look at Ro um, Team 9 o'clock. They're, they're trying to push mid lane just to trade something. But they don't have enough minions to finish that mid lane off. Um, it was it was just unfortunate that Bruno died earlier because he was misposition mispositioned earlier. So, um, But here we go. Why is this... Um, I'm not really a big fan of how Team 9 o'clock is executing this Rafaela Bruno strategy because Rafaela and Bruno they're supposed to stick together the whole time but from what it looks like they're kind of separating ways but right now well obviously right now they are kind of close to each other but earlier they, they were kind of separating ways that's not what you want to see on a Bruno Rafaela combo you always want to make sure that your Bruno is farming freely and farming comfortably right with no worries at all but we see Roger pushing so fast here on the top lane. And nice, nice zoning with the Hylos and Selena and Alice. And Team Rockstar is finally waking up. All right. I wasn't a big fan of the Hylos. 
but they're making it work all right they're making it work with the draft that uh, they've been given here we go and finally there's a trade of towers here and actually no there's still no towers for rockstar but here we go popal and koopa trying to go for a stun there and um was that hearth jesus they all look alike for me popal and koopa's portrait and hearth they look alike but that is hearth that just died right there uh and selena has been hitting some pretty key stunts here so last game it was team nine o'clock selena that was doing really really good but this game it was it's team rock stars playing the selena and hitting some key stunts to make some pickoffs the turtle is up so let's see who tries to contest for this turtle um bruno already went for the bouncing ball so no more ulti for bruno and the high low still doing a very good job zoning look at this high low not afraid at all on the front line but this is not a good position for for bruno as well and harith they're falling one by one killing speed coming in from hayabusa though that's gonna be a double kill for hayabusa can he clean up selena's gonna go for a stun but it's gonna miss roger's gonna go for a 1v1 here against a, against hayabusa and hayabusa finally getting shut down by the roger roger wants to clean up but nobody's gonna be low hp so he's not gonna be able to chase with his passive right there selena's just gonna be clearing this mid lane um, so that the enemy team cannot push this mid lane tower. Um, but overall, I think Team Rockstars um, won the trade overall during that team fight. So very well played so far. Rockstars definitely has the edge right here. But then again, um, I think this is because they don't really have a team fight oriented draft. Like I said earlier, it's not a wise choice to draft two core side laners. You always want to have a side laner that has sustain. And I mean, I guess Harith has a little bit of sustain with the second skill. But it's not enough. But Alice doing a 1v3 here and getting picked off. Just way too overextended. He needs to pay attention more um, to the minimap. Um, if, if the enemy's missing, he needs to play passive. Right there, he was just out of pos position. That should not happen, right? That, that, those little mistakes, little mispositioning and errors should not happen. But here we go. Finally, my, my game has cleared up. I can see clearly. My, um, Team Rockstars, they actually have 21,000 gold. And um, Team 9 o'clock, they have 20,000 gold. And for the viewers that, that are just tuning in, if you guys are confused, all right, uh, the overlay should be the opposite way. But Hilo's ulting in to the Popolin Koopa. They really want to give this Popolin Koopa a hard time. Fars is going to go for a Feather Airstrike. Getting another kill. Killing Spree. And Roger wants to clear up. And this is the Roger I was talking about. I'm like... Why does nobody pick Roger in NA? Look how strong he is! Arguably the strongest core right now in the game. And Alice also farming pretty freely, although she's been playing really aggressive. This should be another free turtle for Team Rob Stars. Oh man, TRS definitely waking up, realizing all the mistakes that they did um, from the first game. And that's what we want to see um, teams do. Bounce back from losses and learn from it, alright? Or, or any team, really any team that's what you want to do no matter whether it's a win or a lose you always want to learn from 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 them all right so here we go hayabusa is pushing that top lane alone but i think <clears throat> trs is going to be there to uh, they're going to be able to defend that um trs just waiting for the for the lord i guess because they do have the advantage in terms of gold right now um selena still pr giving pretty decent vision here but popal and koopa biting the high lows not enough damage this bruno like I uh, like Pika said earlier, he, Bruno needs to snowball if they want to make things work. But right now, Bruno, barely any damage. Look, he's tickling the high lows, tickling the horse, bro. Uh, so it's, it's not looking good so far. The only way Team Nine O'clock could win here is to get Harith to late game and Hayabusa. But look at the Roger chasing down the Harith, forcing him to ulti away. And look at the high lows. I was expecting high lows to be really really squishy. But since Bruno didn't snowball, he's very, very tanky. Um, here goes the Feather Airstrike from Farsa for the zone. Very well played. Um, uh, but nothing happening so, so far. Nobody wants to commit too much. Nobody wants to be greedy. Everybody's playing safe. They want to wave clear, just poke. Just get, um, you know, the, the enemy team to low HP. But Harith, oh no, I think he might be too overextended here. Let's see, does he have ulti? Oh no, Roger's freaking fed. You better run away, bro. Oh, he almost died. He does get away um, from the Roger, so he's good to go. And he also managed to not waste a spell there, so good for him. He all he only managed to use ulti to get away from the Roger. 
but Roger is very very scary. Just one one first skill takes 50% of your health. Especially with just uh, with endless battle, the auto attack afterwards is gonna hurt even more, and that's why Roger is just so good. Such a mobile hero, good early game and decent late game. So there's like it's a it's a uh, how do you want to say this? It's a safe pick no matter what draft you put Roger in. Um, Roger is a pretty decent jungler. Here we go. Popal and Koopa has been struggling lately. Um, because the farce has been just ulting this Popal and Koopa over and over again. And knowing that Popal and Koopa has to recall. Just game sense. Just easy game sense. Knowing that Popal and Koopa has to recall. They're doing the Lord right away. And who's gonna rat you? Roger's gonna be able to secure that Lord. Will they be able... Oh, Hayabusa was forced to ulti. You're in a bad position. And Hayabusa is gonna fall down as well. So there we go. Team Rockstars and Popel and Koopa is biting Alice without any follow-up. I don't understand. I don't I really don't understand why you keep biting people without any follow-up. You're just wasting your skills. So now for the next what 20 to 30 seconds, you don't have any any um you know you don't have an ulti. It's probably 20 seconds. Popel and Koopa's um ulti is very low cooldown, especially if you build like Thunderbelt, Dominance Eyes, Curse Helmet, and other stuff. Um, for, for cooldown. Uh, so here we go. How will Team Rockstars take advantage? Nice stun from Selena, by the way, but no follow up right there on the purple tank. How can they take advantage of this Lord? Harris is gonna OT in. Very, very greedy here. Very, very aggressive, but they did manage to finally kill the Hylos. They've been having trouble. It's a one for one trade as a tank for a tank. Oh, well, tank for support technically but the lord is still full hp on the bottom side of the map so let's see if they could push here um <clears throat> they have decent waves here for team nine o'clock not the best um but it is a level one lord harith might get a kill here oh so close he only needed one more auto attack on oh there goes the selena stun again oh feels bad for the ally for the purple and Cooper right there and i think this might be it they want to end the game. Roger wants to end the game. Four people dead. Hayabusa still alive though. Can they live with the Hayabusa ulti? What happened? Oh, there you go. Uh, and that's going to be GG Well Played. TRS coming back 